Hello, and thank you for joining me for the capture demonstration. Today, we're going to review capturing a document in OnBase via scanning or import. The first thing we need to do is log into OnBase configuration and create our scan queue. We will select import, scan queue. We would want to provide a scan queue name, try to make this as descriptive as possible, perhaps um, the department, uh, space dash space, and a little bit of information about what you're scanning. Um, so if it was accounts payable, AP, space dash space, uh, invoices, and maybe that would be all um, PO invoices and non-PO invoices. Once you identified your scan queue name, we're going to go ahead and select create. We can copy any settings from an existing scan queue if we already have a existing scan queues created, or we can select none to start from scratch. We would want to provide where the disk group will be assigned for these scan queues for any images we're scanning. And then who should have access to this scan queue? You can also assign an icon if you'd like. We're gonna go ahead and skip that for today. We would want to select the document types that we're able to select when in the scan queue. You can double click on a document type name. You can select a document type group. Um, or you can highlight an item and do add. You can also change the order that you see listed here, either by moving up or down or setting it as alphabetical. The process options. This is where you're going to choose everything you want the scan queue to do. Um, there's tons of options here. We're not going to go through all of them. Um, a couple options I typically will choose is selecting my scan queues to do an auto commit so it does not necessarily always have to run on a timer. I also like to auto name my batches and um, I typically tend to select a default scan mode if it's no index, pre-index or full index depending on what the scan queues function is. Um, usually I select full index for most users just because I want them to identify a document type name and a keyword when scanning. And then if I had a scan queue I'm creating and I know a majority of the documents that they're going to be scanning are, let's just say, credit memo, I could go ahead and select this option. So that's uh, the document type that automatically defaults when they go to scan a document, um, but it still allowed them to change the document type. Um, or I can just do none and they would always just have to select their document type. Uh, so this is really uh, organization preference here and depending on how many um, documents you're assigning and what what the ratios are of each document type they're going to scan in. I can, oh sorry, I need to define one though because I did select full index. Um, I can assign an auto name. I can um, add my capture information. So if I was going to actually set the scan queue up to sweep from a directory instead of scanning using the scanner. Uh, if I was going to use any barcode processing to possibly index the document, either the document name or the keywords or both. Um, and then if I wanted to set up any type of um, thresholds to discard blank pages or um, what is a blank page, anything along those lines. There are some indexing options here, integration, quality assurance. So if I want to make sure every document has a quality assurance performed on it before it gets committed, I can set that up. Uh, maybe or maybe I only want um, a certain percentage to be reviewed, or maybe I want users to be over to um, be able to override the quality assurance. So all that can be set up on this tab. We have image processing options, custom pro processing options, pre-index scan queue sorting options, as well as the post-index uh, scan queue sorting options. And then also another tab that I think a lot of um, organizations overlook is a processing queue warning, uh, queue warning levels. Every organization, every on-base system in every organization does have a maximum uncommitted batch number allowed in the system. So what that's saying is every single department that is scanning into on-base, if your documents are going into awaiting capture, awaiting of, um, awaiting commit, awaiting index, anything that uh, when your documents are waiting to be committed in that scanning area, there is a maximum of how many documents you're allowed to have. So what you can do is set up this scan queue 
to say only allow X amount of batches to be an index in progress or a waiting index. And once it hits that batch threshold, you can identify an email address that would email, you know, maybe a, a department or a specific user that says, hey, you're about to meet your threshold and, and your department won't be able to scan anything else into the system. Um, so this is really nice if you're trying to work on getting your users to process their documents in a more timely fashion. Let's go ahead and save this. This is all we need to do in our OnBase configuration client. So let's go ahead and jump into our Unity client. From my main home screen, I would go to um, Imaging because my screen's kind of small or if I make it a little bit larger, you can see right here there's batch scanning. You can select any scan queue you want to scan into. Let's select our AP vendor invoices. From here, uh, you have your scan modes. You can definitely change these. This one was already set to do full index. I have my document types, so I can select any document type I'm scanning. However, this one only has one document type listed in it. Um, add our keywords and then hit scan. Uh, if we were actually doing a sweep, we could select the sweep option instead. Once a document is scanned in the system, we would then go to our batch processing. Oops, sorry, I have this open from a from, uh, previous session. Let me go ahead and close that. Okay, so from our batch processing screen, we can see all our different status queues. We have an import, a rescan, um, barcode processing, advanced capture, indexing, a waiting commit. These queues will all vary depending on what your system has access to or licensed to, as well as it may vary um, depending on what your users are allowed to see. So in our index queue, we have two documents that are waiting index. We can highlight one, right click, and index the document. And from here, we can go ahead and index the document, put in any information, um, keywords or document types, uh, anything we need, and then we can hit index. The nice thing about the Unity client is that you can see that there are a total of three documents and in this window, you can see each document and the status of it. So this first document's already been indexed and processed. So now we're on this second one, which you can tell because it's kind of highlighted blue. So once I hit index on here, you'll see that that status bar now has a check there and we're left with just one document remaining. Um, so I'm not going to go ahead and finish them. I'm just gonna go ahead and select stop indexing. Once you do that, you have a couple options. You can review the last thing you did. You can save and transition this to the next um, batch processing queue, or you can go ahead and save and close it. Um, so if you save and close it, it's going to stay right where it's at. If you save and transition it, it could possibly go to another queue, like a waiting commit or waiting QA review, depending on where the status is of all three of your documents. So I'm going to go ahead and select save and close for right now because I want it to stay in my awaiting index queue. And the next thing we're going to look at is how to import a document using the Unity client. So if I go to my home tab, right here, I have an import option. From the import screen, I can drag and drop anything into this preview window. I can use the acquire button to pull an image from a scanner or a camera if I have either of those attached to my device. Or I can browse to a network location. I'm just going to grab this um, Highland picture that I have on my desktop here. I can narrow my uh, document type list down by selecting a document type group. So maybe I want to just do something in our human resources department. Then from there, I can select my document type name. I'm prompted to add all my keywords in here. I have some additional options if I choose to look at those, and then I can import. Another nice thing about the Unity client, you'll see there is a bar going across the screen letting me know the status of the import. And then once the document's imported, I can actually see it right here on the screen because it opens up in a document viewer window. And I can do any other functions I could normally do in a document view window. So that is both scanning and importing with the Unity client. Um, the next client we're going to look at is just the OnBase client. 
So from here, I have a scan uh, index icon in my toolbar. Same concept, I can double click on my scan queue. I can select my scan format, my scan mode, my document type, enter my keyword. And then once I have my scan format selected, my scan button would be visible. Um, however, you'll notice I don't have a scan format. I didn't actually create one um, for this process today. So there's the, the scanning options not available. Um, I did create a sweep option though. If I wanted to sweep a network location, I could go ahead and do that. Um, but we're not gonna actually do the scanning part. This is just to show you kind of what the window looks like. And then instead of now having to go to a different screen to see all my other my other cues, um, I can see them right here. I can see that I have one document in awaiting advanced capture. I have two documents in awaiting index, which you'll see I, it's actually that one vendor invoice one that I had started in the Unity client. Um, and that's the only thing really I have pending in here right now. Same idea, I can right click, I can index the document. My visual is not as nice where I have my status down here before in the Unity client. All I can see is really I'm on page one of one document with one remaining. So not as not as nice, not as um, nice of a visual for people to see. Same idea though, I can go ahead, change my document type if I need to, add my keyword and then hit index. I'm not gonna process this one right now, so I'm just gonna go ahead and select stop indexing. And then if I wanna import into the um, on-base client, I can hit this green import uh, icon, looks very similar to what you saw in the Unity client. I can browse to my location that I want to bring in the file from, which again, we're just gonna use this island picture, sort by a document type group, or I can just select my document type, I'm just gonna pick any one, I add any keywords I want, and I can import. And there are a couple different ways to import into each client. I'm just gonna show you the basic, um, but of course there's more information, so feel free to look at your module reference guides or contact uh, any type of level of support that you have with. And then lastly, um, you can actually scan and import using the OnBase web client. So if I web client, Go to my menu up here on the top left. Let's go ahead and select scan a document. So from here, same idea. I can select my document type group. I can select my document types. I can enter in all my keywords. And then I put my document in the scanner and I hit import. My personal feeling is the web client is not as nice of a client to use when scanning. I think your options are kind of limited and I think that your, your interface is not as friendly as the on-base client um, and definitely not as friendly as the Unity client. Um, but it really is whatever works best for your organization. The web clients are nice because there really is no install. You just give somebody a link to the web client and they can access it. Um, my other option in my web client, again, go to my menu hit import document. It's now asking me to browse to a file or you'll notice it's saying to um, drag and drop a file here on the screen. So same idea, you can browse, you can drag and drop. You have all the same settings you had before, your document type group, your document types and your keywords. Once you have everything filled out and you have your document uh, viewable here in this window, you could hit import. Um, so again, your three main options for scanning for any organization are your on-base clients, on-base unit client, and on-base web client. Um, there are a couple other scanning options like disconnected scanning or front office scanning, um, but those are a little bit more organization specific um, and will not be covered in this demonstration, but please feel free to reach out to RPI if you'd like any more information on those. And other than that, I hope this demonstration was helpful and everyone has a great day. Thank you so much for joining me.